okay, to, to make this so that it's a one-person operation, we're going to uh, use just a standard mesh pulling grip. I'm going to put on the end of the drop wire here. Just slide that over the end. Attach that to a fixed object just so that I can keep some tension on the cable while I'm working on it. I'm going to go out here about six feet. which is about the maximum you can remove um, in, this, um, in this scenario, about the maximum that you can remove all in one uh, swath. Um, if, uh, if you need to expose more fiber or more tube than that, you can certainly always do this in two steps. I'm going to go back about six feet. I'm going to make a series of ring cuts in the jacket. I'm going to make three ring cuts approximately one inch apart. After I've made the ring cuts, take a razor knife and the ring cut that's closest to the end of the cable, I'm just going to peel the jacket down to the surface of the armor. take side cutters, grab the edge of the jacket there, and just peel that jacket away at that point. At that point I'm going to locate the armor overlap, which in this case happens to be right there on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and if, if this is, um, um, if this is step one of a longer uh, access, then you can go ahead and skip this part right here. But if this is uh, to prepare for the actual preparation so that we want to put a bonding clamp at this point, what you want to do is once you find that overlap, just peel away right there at the overlap, just peel away the jacket at that overlap, which will make um, uh, make it easier about putting that bond clamp in place. We'll go back to the side cutters at this point. Use the side cutters just to pry up the armor overlap. Once you pry it up, you might make a little snip at each end just to help with the peeling process. And then just like we did with the jacket, we can peel the armor away off of this section of the cable. At this point, all this is going to come off. We don't have to worry about getting this armor completely out of the way. Just be careful with it. Don't let it cut you. Then we'll switch to some shears or scissors and just cut away these flexible strength members that are exposed here underneath the armor. We want to make sure that we get up cut away all the strength members but without of course cutting the tube. Once the strength members are completely removed then we're just going to put some keeping everything straight put some steady pressure to pull the tube out of the free end of the cable. There we have our tube exposed for further processing. At this point, if we were going to put a bond clamp on this on this uh, place, we would take the uh, side cutters again. We've got that overlap exposed, so we could just spread that out a little bit.
to take a bond clamp such as I have such as I have here so it uh, once we've once we've opened up here at the at the overlap pull the yarns out of the way to make room then we'll take on the uh, put the bond clamp on the opposite side slide it right up under the armor and of course it circles around the tube uh, creating protection for the tube at that point then you would finish this like any other bond clamp with uh, putting the you know the nut and drain wire and and um, the um, uh, taping it up